Hi, I'm Angel, and I'm a local artist. I've enjoyed painting for all of my life. And I found a home here on Main Street. I really can't remember when I wasn't painting. It runs in the family. We have, uh, I don't know, four or five, six artists in the family. And not all of them have pursued it professionally. Just a couple of us. The other ones just do it for fun. <laughs> I get my inspiration from relaxing places. I like people to look at my paintings and go, you know, I wish I could just sit there and breathe and relax. There's a lot of places that people don't get to see or when they see them, they don't have time to appreciate them. So with the paintings, they can just stare and appreciate. This one I'm working on right now is from Old Town Bergen in Norway. There's a little flower cart that I came across while we were looking through the, uh, the old shops. It was just too darn cute not to paint. And I don't try to paint exactly like a photo because you can look at a photo anytime. What do I try to bring to people? A sense of peace. Calm. All of my paintings are basically pastoral. Quiet places. Peaceful, peaceful visions. Sometimes they come from dreams. Or sometimes there will be somebody who will say, you know what would be neat to see? And I go, oh yeah, that would be neat, wouldn't it? So then I bring their ideas onto canvas. The paintings that you see here are ones I have done for myself. I have done commission paintings. Um, I've done designs for tattoos. I've done a commission where a man asked me to paint his girlfriend into a fairy. And that, that one was fantastic. And she really loved it. It was a watercolor, probably a 23 by 18, full sheet of watercolor paper. And she loved it so much, she had it reduced and put on as a tattoo. Yeah, but she loved her birthday present from him. It's on my Facebook page. Yeah, you can see it there. Just go to Angel Artist on Facebook. And most of them are right there. It's a work in progress also. Yeah, I'm basically a self-taught artist. Read all the books, had a few art classes in school. Uh, my mentors in high school were two of my favorite all-time people, uh, Mr. Rogers and Mr. Kennedy, who were awesome art teachers. But my family has been really supportive. Like I said, it's, it's in the genetics, so mom has been supportive. Lots of family has been supportive. The, the old, make yourself happy, do what God intended you to do, kind of thing. You know, I'll share a painting with somebody. I'll go, okay, I finished this one, look at it. Please, look at it. And they're like, they look at it and they, they step back and they're like, oh my gosh, there's a bunny. I look at it and I go, um, there's no bunny there. They go, no, there's a bunny. Okay, okay, well this painting must be yours because you see something in it that I didn't know that I put there. I feel like it's very important to follow your bliss. If you have a talent and it niggles at you, 
I think you need to uh, listen. There's something that it has for you. Could be therapy. <laughs> And it could be something that you're supposed to be teaching somebody else. Even if it is to just relax and enjoy. 